What is up, vending people? Welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Dominic Barbado, author of Vending Revolution, How to Start and Grow Your Vending Business at Any Age. If you want to pick that book up, you can get it on Amazon as well. If we hit 100 likes on this video, I'll give the book away to one of you uh, who comment down below something interesting about the video that you did learn. But without further ado, jumping right into the topic, vending machines are not a get-rich-quick scheme in making money. Um, and I just want to simply go over some things that I learned and some things that I see that new people to this industry are doing at this current moment that they shouldn't be doing. If you're new to this industry, I want to break the bad news to you, be the bearer of bad news, but this business is not a get rich quick scheme. If you're looking to make a lot of money with this business and don't have a lot of money to start, you're going to have a relatively hard time being successful in this business. And I'm sorry to say that, but it is really hard or it is challenging for someone who only has a thousand or two thousand dollars to be able to start uh, a vending machine business and make tens of thousands of dollars overnight. If you have the money to buy vending machines, if you have a lot of money, let's say 50 to 100K to buy 50 to 100 vending machines, then it's a different story. And potentially it's a get rich quick scheme but you have to have the money to start to begin with. So a lot of people who are just starting out are like, yes, I wanna get 50 locations my first year. Well, understand to have 50 locations with 50 vending machines, sometimes usually 100 because you put two on location, you need $100,000, possibly $50,000 if you find some good refurbished equipment, um, but you're still needing $50,000. You know That's a ridiculous amount of money for anyone who's just looking for a get rich quick scheme or doesn't have the capital to begin. And for someone who maybe doesn't even understand the vending business that much. So if you're looking to get into the vending business, I'm going to go over some things in this video, even more to that point. And I think I just want to, you know, educate everyone who's typing in on Google is do vending machines make money? Can I make money with vending machines? Are vending machines passive income? You know, a lot of these things, the answer really is no. Vending machines are not passive income. It's not a get rich quick scheme. You can see the other things on my channel. I've been in vending for a little over six years and I'm still not a millionaire from vending machines alone. So I think a lot of people need to understand like it's going to take time to grow your business. Maybe you have some type of hack for this industry that I don't know. If you do, please comment down below what you're doing to grow your business, vending business so rapidly. But even if you're making thousands of sales calls a week, you're still only going to grow incrementally. So it still is a challenge. Um, it's not a get rich quick scheme. And I want to make that super clear in this video and give you even prime examples is because we're collecting dollar bills and $5 bills from our vending machine. Maybe you're doing up to $10 items in your vending machine. I think Kylie Jenner, she did like up to $100 items in her vending machine with her makeup, but that machine cost around five to $10,000. So you need to understand that a get rich quick scheme in almost anything requires a lot of money to get rich quick. If you don't have a lot of money, it's a get rich slow type of process. That's why like honor boxes, they work perfect for anyone looking to enter this industry. So if you know what a bulk vending machine is, which is like a gumball machine, the ones you put a quarter in, 50 cents up to a dollar. Sometimes they have toys. Honor boxes are like a level below that or right even with bulk. They make just as much as bulk, uh, if not more than the average bulk location. The average single head gumball machine makes only eight to $10 a month. Honor boxes, for me, my personal average, I can't guarantee these numbers, is between uh, 10 and $35 a month, maybe even more than that. But that would be my average for my boxes so far. Um, not the point of this video because honor box is also not a get rich quick scheme. I just want to make it clear for anyone who's on the internet searching for ways to make money online. It's relatively hard to get rich quick with anything that is on the internet because a lot of people are selling you different things. Even me right now, I'm selling you the vending business in a way being completely transparent about that because I want you guys to know that it is a good business. I want you to also know you're not going to get rich quick overnight with machines, maybe you will make some good money, maybe you'll strike a good deal with a good location with a lot of employees and high foot traffic, but you're not gonna get rich in the sense where you're gonna have private jets and Lamborghinis and you're gonna be traveling the world. It doesn't happen that quickly. So all I wanna do is advise anyone jumping in this industry, make sure you have thousands of dollars in reserve, make sure you have an emergency fund for yourself, You know, make sure you're set up financially before you jump in, buy equipment that you don't even understand, buy machines that you don't even understand, start a business you don't even understand, you know, 
You have to do things properly in this business. And that is why I preach honor boxes. I preach honor boxes a lot, I'll be completely honest. I do have a bias towards them, but I really think for anyone who's just starting or who anyone only has bulk locations, honor boxes are the way to go because in the future, it's gonna be harder and harder to get locations, obviously, but honor boxes, you can move around, pick up. Thing with a big vending machine, a full line soda snack machine, it's 800 pounds. You know, these machines are hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So you need equipment, you need uh, a truck, you need stuff like that. You need insurance on your business. So anyone just looking to start, buy one machine and hope for the best, it's not going to be good for you. If you're getting into any business and take this advice from me or not, if you get into any business, starting small is good, but make sure you're committed to the long run and know your goal in the future. How many vending machines do you want? How much income do you want? And work back from that. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. So know that your numbers, whatever you say, if it's going to take, you know, a year to get 50 locations, double that. It's going to take two years to do that. And that's exactly with our brains. We underestimate what we could do in a year and <clears throat> we overestimate what we could do in a year. We underestimate what we can do in 10 years. So just don't underestimate what you could do in 10 years. Make this a 10 year business. Anything you do going forward in your life, make it a 10 year project. This isn't a year long thing. Any type of business takes years and years. You know, any of these companies weren't built overnight. Apple, Google, all these companies, they've been around for 20, 30 years. So they've been in the business, they've seen what happens and you need to have the experience in this business. You can't just jump in and get hospital locations if you don't know how, if you haven't ever bid for an account. You know, you have to learn these things the slow way, unfortunately, and then eventually you can build on that. And then it does look like it's a get rich quick scheme because by the end of it, you are getting rich because you understood and learned so many things along the way. But hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little video. I wanted to just make a video where you guys understand that, hey, not a get rich quick scheme, but you can enter the business if you want to. Check some links down below. Um, we're running a sale right now on Vending Business Solutions. So if you need vending machines, you could check us out on there. But yeah, my name is Dominic Barbado and hopefully I see you guys here again on this channel soon. All right. Peace.